Hello and welcome to a video tutorial from matthawkins.co.uk. In this tutorial I'll show you how you rip a DVD using the free utility DVD Decryptor. The latest version of DVD Decryptor is version 3.5.4.0. The application isn't available from the official website anymore, but if you head on over to dvddecryptor.org.uk you can simply click the download DVD decryptor link to download the latest version. Once you've downloaded it, you just need to install it, and then once it's installed, you just run it as normal. Now, when you run DVD decryptor, it will present you with two windows the main application window here, and the log window here. Now, DVD decryptor operates in a number of different ripping modes you can get it to create you an ISO image file from the disk if you want but I'm going to use the file mode so I'm going to click file to make sure it's in file mode and I'm going to insert a disk into my DVD drive now file mode is going to basically allow me to copy all the files on the source disk onto my hard drive so I've put the disk in DVD decryptor is going to analyze the disk and any second now it should show me the content of the disk in this region here. So there's all the files. I want to copy all of them so I'm going to check they're all selected. If they're not all selected then I suggest you select them all. I'm going to double check that's the correct source. Yep, drive X, that is my DVD drive. It's identified the label of the disk and it's already suggested a destination. If you don't like this destination location here you can click the browse for a folder icon to change it or to change um, to a different drive letter. This is to show me the capacity of drive E um, with how much space is left. And because that all looks correct, I'm going to click the rip icon here. It's now going to proceed to work through all the files that I'd selected. It shows you what file it's working on here um, and the data rates, etc. You can monitor the progress of the copy here. And if you do need to stop the process for any reason, you can use the abort button here. But I'm going to let this run to completion. Right, it's just like copying the last few files. And there we go, it's just finished. So it's copied 84 files and it hasn't skipped any. So that's good, so I'm going to click OK and it just takes you back to the main application window. Now what I'm going to do is go and check the folder. So here's the destination folder and it's created a video TS folder. And if I click in there I can see all the DVD files from the original disk. So I can now take that video TS folder and if I need to I can burn that onto a blank disk. DVD Decrypt is no longer actively maintained by the developers, which does mean it struggles to copy some newer commercial DVDs. However, it's still useful to have around for copying um, DVDs you might have made yourself, such as uh, a family videos made from camcorder footage, etc. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please remember to click the like button and to share it with your friends on your favourite social networking sites. Thank you.